Hey guys, with the holiday season upon us, a lot of us are thinking about stocking stuffers for our favorite woodworker. And today we're talking about five tools you can get on Amazon for under 50 bucks that are pretty unique, pretty useful, and pretty cool. So in front of me you see six tools that we're going to talk about today and a bonus tool we'll get to those in a minute first of all i want to start uh, i want to start off with the only electric tool we'll be talking about today and this is called a banfile belt sander so it has a belt on it that is about a half inch wide this particular version runs right around forty dollars on amazon now one of the unique things about this is it can just get into places that you normally can't get to with any other kind of electric sander on this particular version, the platinum on this or platinum on this is right towards the end of it within the last little bit and then there's nothing back here. So if you're doing roundovers or you're trying to, you know, deburr something, this comes in really handy and then if you need a hard rigid back behind it, if, let's say you're doing the inside of a box joint or you're doing the inside of a, a circle that you want to enlarge a little bit, this comes in really handy. Now this tool has been used in my shop quite a bit. Um, it's one of those tools that you really wouldn't think you'd want, you'd need in a woodworking shop, but I find that when I'm doing projects, this comes out almost every day. There's always some unique thing I can use it for, and, and I probably will do a build in the future mounting this thing to um, a surface uh, for more precise sanding. But it is adjustable, it has a little knob on top here that you just loosen up and you can adjust it to different angles for different comforts, different grips and accessing different uh, positions if you're sanding in a weird position. I don't know why that would happen, but it probably does at some point. So this one right here comes in at $40 on Amazon. And um, if I would say out of any of these things that you decide to get, this is probably the most handy tool to have around a wood shop. Originally this was designed for welding and lots of welders have air powered ones like this. Uh, but it's you again, it's just unique how often there's a situation in woodworking where you can pull that out and um, fix a mess up, clean up an edge, um, all kinds of little places that you can use it. So next up, we're going to be looking at this unique tool. This is a scribe. Many of you have seen scribes before. It has a cutting edge on one side with a flat surface, so you can set a depth. Uh, obviously, if you cut uh, box joints or hand cut dovetails, you know what this is, and many of you that haven't cut dovetails joints know what this is. So on this side it has a flat surface, a bar that you can set to whatever depth you need, and a cutting edge. Well on this one, which makes it a little bit more unique, it has two followers and you can mount a pencil in it. Now that being said, you can also put the cutting edge on this side as well. And what this does, this allows you to mark out around contours. So if you need to set a depth from a piece that's contoured, you can set whatever depth you need and this having the two pins there will allow you to follow that contour really well, very accurately. And because it has the two um, pins like that, you can do inside contours and outside contours very accurately instead of trying to struggle through that. So this is one of those unique tools that I've had in my shop on and off for a while. I just ordered a new one because it's been a while since I've had one and I couldn't find the other one. Um, again, this is one of those things that gets used quite often in the shop. So uh, this one I believe comes in at right around $30 on Amazon and uh, I would really encourage you to check this out if you do any precision woodworking because there's a lot of times when you're marking out contours that this really comes in handy. Um, this one is really well made, has a nice weight to it, had a, has a neural brass locking pin on it, so you can lock that really easily. And again, it has an adjustable hole here for different size pencils, so you can put different size pencils or even uh, small Sharpies or markers in it. Uh, again, great stocking stuffer, and one of those tools that I think deserves a little bit of attention, right there. Next up, we're gonna talk about the MK2. Now, this little tool right here has cost me more emails than you could imagine. I get, every time I use this in a video, I get emails, where did you get that? And I always put a link in the description box. Anytime I do a unique build or I use a unique tool in a build, I look in the description box, there'll usually be a link there because I, it, you know, I don't want all the emails not to sound like a jerk. But this is called an MK2, and this is a divider gauge that d divides spaces evenly, so you get e even marks between this as it opens up. Now, um, 
This one is available on Amazon, and I believe Clingsport also carries a version of this. And they're not they're not super expensive, but when it comes to doing quick divisible divisible uh, layout for whether you want your screw holes to be all lined up, whether you need to mark out for a coat rack, you saw all your pins are lined up really well. Um, this is a super handy tool to have, and I know you guys have seen me use this quite often in a number of videos because I, I like to use screws. I also like the screw holes to be lined up really well. So I pop this bad boy out and I can lay that out re relatively quickly without having to do any math or pull out my tape measure and you know potentially get one of the measurements wrong. So this is a, again called an MK2. Links for all these tools will be down in the description box, but um, this is a good one. Obviously a nice tool to have in your arsenal. You, when we do in woodworking, we're often dividing things evenly and uh, this just makes it really easy. Next up is this little fella. Now this is made by MagSwitch and it doesn't look like much, but it comes in handy for lots of different items. And a MagSwitch magnet simply means you can turn the knob, which turns the magnetic force on, or you can turn it, which turns it off. So, to, and you go up against a metal object like this, if it's off, obviously, it doesn't pick anything up. When it's on, it's a pretty powerful magnet. Uh, now this can be used, this is one of those things we could talk about for hours. Can be used for holding down feather boards, could be used for holding down fixtures and jigs on the drill press, could be used for stopping points, is what I use, the, this particular one, I use on the table saw all the time. I use it as a, just a depth gauge or a stopping point instead of trying to use my table saw fence, which could potentially lead to material binding in the fence and getting chucked back at me. And I use it over on the drill press quite a bit as just a way to mark the distances or to hold down particular fixtures. Again, they come in all kinds of different sizes and shapes and powers. So uh, this particular one is about $26 on Amazon. I have a couple of them here in the shop. And if you want something with a little bit more holding power, um, you can find those there as well. Next up on this is this thing. And uh, I know this looks a little bit odd to most of you, but this is probably the one square that if I wore a pouch would never leave my pouch, that along with Tony Rulo's small hand square. Uh, this, just by looking at it, most of you can tell what this is. It's a center finding gauge, but it has lots of other unique uses as well. So this one is great for making sure things are square. It's also nice for using as a regular square. You can hold it up against a board and use, mark, it out, mark out a, um, a line or a touch there. On the end of a board, you can use it for marking out at different angles as well. And it's got a nice weight to it, so it makes a handy paper holder too. <laughs> so it's one of those things that's just really unique. I use it a lot and um, it comes in handy more often than you could think. This one is pretty heavy, so it has a nice scraper edge. I use it for cleaning glue sometimes. Just all kinds of little applications that you can use for this. And it's just small enough and light and you know handy enough to keep in a small pouch on your apron or in your pocket or in your tool pouch. Now this one is probably one of the cheaper things on our list today. This comes in at a whopping $13. So there's really not an excuse to have it. It comes in super handy all, all the time. Again, that'll be linked down below. So last but not least, or in our, our six tools, is this fella. Now, some of you are gonna know what this is right off the bat, just by looking at it without ever having seen this before. This is a roto tape. So for marking out radiuses, um, you've seen all kinds of jigs, I'm sure, on YouTube, or homemade compasses, or how to mark radiuses, but this just makes it really, really simple. This works just like a tape measure by pulling this lever down, and you can pull it out to the distance that you want. There is a pin on the bottom of it you can set in a circle, or pin in the circle, and then there's lead that goes in this end, and you can just mark out whatever radius you need, all the way up to, I believe, this one goes up to like six feet. It's pretty crazy way out there so not a whole lot to say about this particular tool other than that it comes in handy especially when marking large radiuses um, for those of you who do cabinet work or countertop work uh, definitely really handy and you know it's one of those things that it seems like such a simple thing then you wouldn't probably use it that often but again it just depends on the kind of woodworking you're doing if you're doing a lot of radiuses this saves you a lot of time making jigs or um, you know, measuring sticks, or, and it's small enough that it'll fit in a pouch 
so it's super handy. Highly recommend you check this one out. This is one of those easy to grab, really quick tools to make your life a little bit easier. And um, this one is also fairly inexpensive, I believe. Don't quote me on this, but I'll, I'll, I'll check after and put the price up here on the, on the thing. I think it's around 24 bucks. So definitely worth it. So last but not least, this one isn't really part of the tool cools and um, I have a lot of friends that carry this particular little pocket knife or um, utility knife. You can take a uh, penny or whatever and unscrew the blade and pop it out and pop it in and it is an interesting EDC carry. Now I don't like this particular one because it's way too small for my giant hands. But I've had so many people tell me that this is their favorite EDC utility knife. And I can understand why. It's very thin, it's very light, it's super well made. And uh, you can just, but you could probably take this to the airport and if you, you know, take the blade out and just when you get to where you're going, stop and buy another blade at a hardware store and you've got your EDC with you everywhere you go. So I wanted to share this with you. I know a lot of cats that love this. Um, I know uh, Tim. Tim McClellan uses it, I Jessup uses it, half a dozen other people off the top of my head, they swear up and down by this thing. Again, for me, um, it's just not comfortable in my monstrous hands. So if you're a big guy with big hands or a gal with big hands, you might not find this thing too handy. It's a little bit hard to maneuver and if you need to put some real pressure on it, it kind of bears into the skin. But I felt it, it's gotten enough positive feedback from people that I respect and trust that I would share that with you. Again, you can get this on Amazon and it's dirt cheap. So it's one of those things that makes a great stock, stocking stuffer for your woodworker friend or even for yourself if you do like carrying a knife around with you. And the nice thing about it being an X-Acto blade or um, a utility blade is you never really have to sharpen it. You can, of course, but it's easy and cheap to replace the blade. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If, you, if there was a tool in this lineup that you haven't seen before, I'd love to hear about it. Comment down in the section below and let me know which tool you didn't even know existed. And if you enjoy this kind of content, let me know. I, it's easier for me to make this kind of content right now. Obviously, I'm not gonna stop with the build projects, but these are quick and fun videos to make. Links for everything down in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, all that stuff. We'll be talking to you soon.